Yes, yes, yes. Thanks once again for joining me at Sea Small Storytime. Today oh, yes, I will yes, be reading yes. a book entitled Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's proceed with the read. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Once upon a time, there was a widow who lived with her only son in a small cabin in the forest. Jack and his mother were very poor. They had lost all the little that they had to a giant who stole from all the neighbors in the village. Oh, yes, yes, the only yes. thing they had left was a cow that gave them enough milk and cheese to survive. One day, the cow, already old, could not give more milk. Jack's mother asked him to take the cow to the market to see if he could sell her. Oh, yes, Jack yes, tied yes. a rope around the cow's neck and happily went to the town. Along the way, he met a rancher. Where are you going with that cow? asked the rancher. I'm going to the market to sell her, replied Jack. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Upon hearing this, the rancher pulled out five beans that he had in his pocket and said, these are magical beans. If you plant them at night, by the following morning, a plant will have grown as tall as the sky. Oh, yes, yes, I'll yes. trade the beans for your cow. Jack thought it was a good idea, so he gave the rancher the cow in exchange for the beans and happily hurried back home. Oh, yes, yes, yes. When his mother saw what he had done, she was so upset, upset that she threw the beans out the window and started crying inconsolably. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That night, Jack went to bed without oh, yes, yes, supper. Yes. Poor Jack. But when Jack woke up in the morning, he was surprised to see that the beans that had sprouted and a huge stalk had grown with many branches reaching up to the sky. Full of curiosity, he started climbing the branches reaching higher and higher until he arrived at a beautiful place where he saw a marvelous castle. He came close to a window and saw a giant and his wife seated at the table, ordering a hen to lay a golden egg. Since he was very hungry, Jack knocked on the door and asked the lady to give him something to eat. Oh yes, yes, yes. The lady, who had a good heart, told him to come in but to hide until her husband took a nap. As soon as the giant fell asleep, the lady gave Jack a glass of milk and cookies. He had hardly finished eating when the giant woke up very agitated and said, I smell a child's meat, a child I like to eat. Dinner will be luscious, from hair to bones, delicious. Oh yes, yes, yes. Jack, very frightened, picked up the hen, put her in a bag and jumped out the window and descended down the stalk rapidly until he reached the ground. His mother was very happy when she saw the hen that laid golden eggs. Now they could sell the eggs to buy food. <laughs> Time went by and one day the hen stopped laying eggs. Jack had to climb the stalk once more to reach the castle and find other riches so they could eat. Oh yes, yes, yes. This time when Jack got closer to the window, he saw that the giant was counting gold coins that he was taking out of the big leather sack. Again, he entered the house with the help of the giant's wife. As soon as the giant fell asleep, Jack took the opportunity to snatch the sack with the coins and quickly made this, his way down the stalk until he reached his house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now he and his mother would have enough money to live for the rest of their lives. However, Jack could not stop thinking about the castle and the treasures and the adventures hidden behind its doors. Oh, yes, so he decided yes, yes. to climb the stalk and reach the castle one last time. When he approached the window, he saw that the giant was taking a nap, and next to him was a golden harp that was playing a beautiful melody without anyone touching its chords. Oh, yes, yes, he decided yes. to go in and hide, but soon fell asleep with the sound of such beautiful music. Suddenly, the giant woke up and started screaming. Wife, tell me, have you hidden the child now? What child are you talking about? There's no child here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Furiously, he shouted again. I smell a child's meat. A child I like to eat. Dinner will be luscious. From hair to bones, delicious. While the giant and his wife were arguing, Jack grabbed the harp, jumped out the window, and reached the stalk and started going down rapidly. However, at this time, and to his surprise, he saw that the giant was following him very closely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. When Jack was close to the ground, he, he called out for his mother. Mother, hurry up, bring an ax. The giant is coming after me. As soon as Jack reached the ground, he took the ax and with one hard blow, he cut down the stalk and the mean giant crashed onto the ground. 
Jack and his mother shared the gold coins with their neighbors. And from that day on, they all lived happily and in harmony. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. I really enjoyed this book also. It kind of put me in the mood of Robin Hood. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. Oh, yes, or yes, yes, shall yes. I say, take from the rich and give to the poor. Oh, yes, yes, Either yes, or, yes. thanks once again for tuning in to C Small Storytime. Have a great day. Oh, yes, yes, yes.